So one of them, the one at the end, the vertical one, and the other one, the horizontal one. So the horizontal one, we call it cities, okay? But the vertical, vertical one, we call it urbanization. So there is a difference between cities and urbanization, okay? So cities is what the establishment of a city and its growth takes several generations. So for a urban ha habitat, for an environment that built by human to become a city, it takes several generations. So sometimes 100 years, sometimes 200 years, sometimes 1000 years takes time that a village grows and become a city. Okay, so it, it's a very long period of time. But the other one, which is the vertical growth, as you can see in this a graphic, is what is called urbanization. And it is very fast. So in a very short period of time, you see that this uh, development can happen. And suddenly, as again, you can see in the graphic, from almost, 10% from the in the beginning of the 19th century the population urbanized population of different countries raised to up to 80% which is very very fast and very very you know uh, rapid development so this is one of the differences one of the main differences of cities and urbanization so so without uh, discovery of fossil fuels or fossil resources. So this huge and rapid urbanization was not possible. So urbanization is dependent <coughs> to fossil fuels, while cities are not dependent to fossil fuels. So we can speak about other and other uh, differences as well. The way that people are uh, kindly organized as the third uh, differentiation. Uh, so in cities, cities were kind of independent uh, societies. So they were self-organizing, but it had its internal organization system. So they were not dependent to somebody else. So each city has its own rules, has its own communities. However, uh, in addition to these, cities had their own ethics. So being a citizen of some places uh, means to have some responsibilities towards that city and towards that uh, society. But when we are speaking about urbanization, urbanization is urbanized areas are not self-organizing uh, entities or environments. Even they becoming self-organizing is quite impossible because they are completely dependent for all all of their needs and uh, even the, their products must be so, sold all around the world. So they are very, uh, very much uh, kind of distributed and fragmented uh, societies. And additionally, because of the 19th century's developments, we have a kind of uh, new concepts of states and central governments and you know these these all that have the uh, main controls over the cities and instead of the ethics of the uh, citizens we have rules and regulations that the governments create for living in these societies so this is this can be another third differentiation uh, for many reasons this urbanized uh, kind of lifestyle is not uh, sustainable, okay? So when I say it's not sustainable, I mean that uh, you cannot continue this lifestyle, this urbanized lifestyle forever. Why, why you cannot con continue this lifestyle forever? Because uh, what today uh, in 2020 what we consume in one year the earth produces it in two years 
how it is possible. It is possible because, because the previous generations, they produced more than they consumed, including humans and including non-humans, all the nature. So our generation had the chance to use more than what it produces. So now I will show you one another uh, graphic. Okay, uh, I hope you are seeing it. So this is a graphic telling us that how long our fossil fuels can last. So the, the left side, it's showing us the amount of energy reserves that we have today uh, of all of these. And uh, the bottom line shows the timeline. Uh, it's saying that uh, if we don't discover new resources of this oil, gas, or coal, uh, we are going to run out of these resources in 50 years. But this is, this is yeah, this is what is uh, written in 10 years ago. So very important scientific uh, studies uh, tell us that these resources, that urbanization is completely dependent to it, is going to be finished. And it's going to be finished soon, not very late. So this is one of the things. So the second issue is the pollution. So what, what we do is we took something that is a great resource uh, from the resources of the earth that belongs to the future as well. We took it and we produce two things. One of them is energy. We take energy. The second thing that uh, is related to it is the pollution. So we, we take it, we use it, we produce energy and we produce pollution. We produce two things. So because we don't clean our polluted environment and even cleaning it is quite impossible. So it needs more energy to collect all the carbon dioxides that our cars produce and clean the air completely. So it is not possible. So what we are doing, we are just leaving it as it is. And that means that the way that we are living on this earth, we make the earth uh, poorer for the future generations. So we consume it. Oh, it is, it is not sustainable, as I said, number one, and it is not resilient. So uh, it is not resilient means that uh, it is, it is quite dangerous even. So I will, I will show you another slide. So this, this map, shows us that almost, as you can see in the caption of this uh, image, almost 60% of the urban areas with more than 500,000 population in the world is at high risk of exposure to natural disasters. Is that the cities with more than half million population, almost 60% of them are in a high risk of exposure because of natural disasters. So this, this is for natural disasters, but today, uh, as you all are facing, we are dealing with an issue of pandemics. As you can realize, the big cities are the main problems because there are uh, massive populations in a very dense environment living there. So the amount of meeting, social meetings are too high. Okay, so I want to speak about the third issue, the third problem that urbanization creates on its, uh, creates on the earth. So this, this, this problem is the problem of equality, the problem of discrimination, the problem of injustice, the problem of uh, poverty. So, <clears throat> 
urbanization creates poverty urbanization uh, creates injustice inequality so th this uh, graphic is about new york uh, population and their incomes okay so the top one percent uh, income group in the new york city they own 32 and half percent of all the incomes of the city while the bottom 10 percent the bottom 50 percent sorry the the 50 percent half of the city they own only 10 percent so th this this is a huge gap between two groups of people so urbanization creates these two 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 uh different class so all of these when you wrap up all of these together we understand that urbanization is something very dangerous for human being and for the nature and also uh, is not sustainable so it is something for a very temporal period so for a very temporal very short period of time our generation had this chance to consume everything in the world singly. the urbanization says that okay so there is a solution uh, before all the other species in the world dies and it being uh, extincted before all the world become a collection of garbage all the sky become a collection of garbage of satellites uh, because we think be before we finish all the resources before we kill each other before because of the injustice and inequalities uh, people will have lots of difficulties and as we see today a poor person in uh, one part of the world can uh, have a disease that can kill lots of rich people in the center of new york or london so we are all connected to each other and we are all connected to the all the other living beings in the on the earth and so we are living all in that in this very uh, beautiful and magical planet that's called earth so we have to change our mindset and our lifestyle and the way that we are uh, living on this earth so these 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 days actually i was thinking that if uh, coronavirus or epidemics had a chance to employ a city planner an urban planner and tells that okay i want you to plan a plan human habitats in a way that kill more people what kind of urbanization you can imagine and the answer definitely would be today's cities the answer definitely would be new york london istanbul so that means that we have to change the way that we are looking at urbanization and uh, urban planning or urban design or landscape design or built environment or all of these okay